Hello and welcome to the Mudroom, our free and live Uncommon Sense parenting class. How is everybody doing? I have had a very interesting day here. <laughs> I'm still quite sick. You're going to hear me barking. That ear infection that I had in like late August, early September is back with a vengeance. <laughs> so I actually can't hear out of my right ear at all right now. So I apologize if my voice is a bit flat or off. Um, and we had a bit of an eventful afternoon here. <laughs> My friend and I were doing a bit of work on our shared hobby and our boys made this huge mess while we were focused elsewhere. So that was a lot of fun to the end of the day. Anyways, if you're watching, say hi. If you're watching the replay, drop me a replay in the comments. If you're shy and neither of those things sound like something you do, do me a solid and like the video. While you do that, I'm just going to pop this into the parenting posse so nobody gets lost. I got this great new stand for my computer so that I can see it without having to look down at my lap anymore, which was really, really annoying me. Um, not quite at eye level where I would like it to be, but it's better than it was, that's for sure. Okay. Do, 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 do. We're just going to share this into the posse and then we're going to get going. Uh, oh, Facebook is going pretty quickly today. Oh, no, oh, it's famous last words. Okay, there we go. We are good to go. Okay. One last thing before we get going. <laughs> mm. Hey, Crystal. Before we get going, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Alana Robinson and I'm a parenting effectiveness coach. I help parents of infants, toddlers, and preschoolers understand why their children are misbehaving and how to fix it without yelling, shaming, or using timeouts. I am your host here on The Mudroom. I also host my free peer support Facebook group, The Parenting Posse, and I have a membership program called The Brain Skills Play Blueprint. So in The Parenting Posse, we have had a lot of members lately sharing their wins using timers. And every time someone does, we get lots of questions about why to use a timer, what kind of timer, I thought we didn't do timed turns, <laughs> etc. So I figured let's talk about why timers, specifically time timers, are awesome and in what scenarios we'd use them. So I have two here. These are time timers. Can you see these? Yes, okay. These are time timers. For those of you who are going to be listening to the podcast, I'm sorry, you might wanna come back and take a look at the blog post or the video later on so that you can see what I'm referring to. Basically, it's a timer and I'll show you on this one. When you set it, the amount of time that you've set, we got a bit of glare there. Um, the amount of time that you've set gets colored. And as the time reduces, so too does the color. So it's completely analog, but it's really freaking cool. So I said, this is also a time timer. The difference between the black one and this one's black and red, and then this one is blue and white, are that they're just different lengths of time. The black and red one is an hour long timer. This is the original design. And the white and blue one is a 20 minute timer. So there's also a five minute and 120 minute version of these that look like this one. Um, this one, when you set it, it's like light blue. The five minute is green and the 120 minute is dark blue, I believe, and they're all white. So what's so special about these things in particular? These are the new updated versions. The original ones, I believe that they call them classic on their marketing materials, were super flimsy. They broke super easily. And the way you set them was by like pulling physically on the colored disc. So it was really easy to mess up the timing mechanism and they wouldn't keep time anymore. Um, I remember one year, I think I went through like 20 of them in 12 months. It was really bad. So these ones are a fantastic and much needed upgrade. These are referred to as the plus version on their marketing materials. And I strongly recommend that if you're going to buy one, that you choose 
the plus, and there is a link for them in the description. So um, yeah, so these are the plus. In Canada, I know that Education Station, Tools for Kids, Scholar's Choice, um, both of them sell, all of them sell, Time Timers as well, they sell this version. Um, unfortunately, this version, the five minute and the 20 minute and the 120 minute version, for some reason, they aren't selling them in Canada yet, which drives me crazy. I got this one in the States. Um, but in the States, Lakeshore Learning carries them. Um, there's lots of options. I just find that Amazon is generally the best price and the cheapest shipping. So why the plus? Well, <clears throat> hey, BB. Hey, Madeline. <laughs> Madeline's yelling at me because I'm sick and I'm doing this. I'm sorry. I just want to talk about time timers. Then I will go take a nap. I promise. Okay, so why the plus? The plus has a hard face to it. So little hands can't get in at the disc and rip or pull it. Um, it's set by this dial in the middle that is super smooth to turn. It's awesome. <laughs> it has a handle which seems completely gratuitous until you're literally carrying it everywhere with you. It has these lovely sturdy little feet that allow you to sit it on a tabletop. And at the back here, the battery compartment's actually screwed shut which believe me is a feature that you want. And it has this handy little, which way is it going? There we go. No, sorry, I'm doing this backwards and I'm confused. Okay, it has this little beep volume control back here, which is awesome for when you're in public. Is it gonna beep for me? So that's awesome for when you're in public. The old ones just had on or off and it was super, super loud. Sometimes you're like on an air, Um, sometimes you're on like an airplane or in a restaurant and everyone around you doesn't need to hear your child's timer going off so you can make it quiet. So that's, that's it on the features. <laughs> this is my personal favorite timer. There's also a time timer app, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't like using the app unless my kids like really catch me with my pants down because then I lose access to my phone while they use it as a timer. So when do we use these timers? Okay, this isn't just like a sales pitch. <laughs> it's not a sales pitch at all. Um, but when do we use these timers? What instances are they helpful with? Time timers are fantastic for making time concrete for children. Time is a very abstract concept for little kids and it's really difficult for them to understand what exactly five minutes means. Their sense of time is really, really poor. You know how when you're doing something that you really enjoy, five minutes seems to disappear in a snap, but when you're waiting for the doctor and you're in one of those paper gowns and your ass is hanging out, it feels like forever and a day. It's the same thing for kids. So if you're asking them to do something in five minutes and they're engaged in something really motivating, of course they're going to melt down when you say five minutes is up because it felt like two seconds to them. On the flip side, if they're having to endure something that's non-preferred, it can feel like it is literally never going to end and they're going to be stuck doing this horrible thing forever. As adults, we can tell time. We have cell phones with clocks on them. We can monitor our time. But little kids can't tell time. They're still figuring out number ordinance and relating it to a length of time is way ahead of the average toddler or preschooler's development. So by making it visual like this, by making it concrete without relying on skills that they don't have, most kids in the pre-operational stage of development, and if that wasn't a term that's familiar to you, go back and check out the mudroom we did on Jean Piaget. It was about a year ago. But pre-operational kids relate big to long and small to short. They conflate size and quantity. If they see four cookies in a stack and four cookies spread out on a table, they'll take the four in the stack because big means more to them. So we can use that to our advantage, and the timer does exactly that. The bigger the color, the more time I have. The smaller, the less. It makes sense to pre-operational children. My timers are almost fused to my hand. <laughs> this one, 
The red one generally lives in my playroom because I'm teaching my younger son to play totally independently now. He's pretty good at playing with my older son, but when he's alone, he's not so good at it. <laughs> but if I just stick him in the playroom and say, okay, I'm going to go do laundry and you play, he'll cry at the gate for the entire time because I could literally be doing laundry for hours. He has no idea. But if I set this for an hour, he can see how long it's going to be in the playroom. He can see that the time is diminishing and he trusts that when this thing beeps, I'm going to come get him. That is the one limitation of the timer. You have to build trust in it. If I tell my kids something is going to happen when the timer beeps, you bet your ass that it's happening when the timer beeps because I want them to trust it. So he will happily go play in the playroom and he will play for an hour because he knows this isn't going to last forever. Mommy will come get me when it beeps. <coughs> Facebook's doing that thing again where it doesn't scroll. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Madeline says that her toddler heard the timer and sat up in bed. Sorry. <laughs> it is. It becomes a very instinctual thing for kids. They hear the beep. They know what it means. And they're like, what? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, I've used, I've used this one to keep my son in the pool for swimming lessons. My older son refused to stay in the pool when he first started swimming lessons. I wasn't even making him participate. My limit was literally just stay in the pool for the class, but he kept getting out. So I just pulled out the timer and said, you need to stay in the pool for 45 minutes. And he did because he knew that when the red went away, he would be let out. He wasn't testing that boundary anymore. He could see very concretely how long he had to stay in the pool. I use it to warn my kids that something that they like is ending. You know, we go to this bouncy house place and when I want to hit the road in 20 minutes, I like whip out my timer and I'm like, hey guys, 20 minutes until we leave, okay? And both of them will stop and look at it and go, okay, and then I just like sit it on the table and you can occasionally see their heads just kind of like pop out to look at it. But when it beeps, they come running because they trust the timer. We set the 20 minute one for two minutes for teeth brushing. Everybody brushes their teeth for two minutes, no fuss. They clean up their rooms because they know they have 30 minutes to do it. And if it's not done, we can't do whatever motivating thing that we've I've told them that we're going to do after, like go swimming or go to the park. I said it when my youngest wakes up from his nap to show him that there's an hour until we can leave to go get my oldest off the bus or else all I hear from when he wakes up is Gogi bus stop, which is really cute for like the first day and freaking annoying for the rest of the time. So now he can see how much time he has until his brother gets home. Anytime we need to do something in a certain amount of time, stop something or wait for something, I got my timers. And this takes us, the adults, out of the role of the nagger. It helps them develop their self-monitoring and it holds both of us accountable. If I say they have five minutes, they have five minutes. They can see that. If they say that they're going to do something for five minutes, they have to do it in five minutes. I give one of these to every new mom. It's my standard baby shower gift. Time timer, a package of depends, and tux pads. <laughs> it is never the most popular or ood over gift at the time, but you best believe my friends are calling me post-birth and when their child is two going, oh my God, you're the only one who really loves me. <laughs> and it's true. Adorable onesies only get worn a few times. The gift of a timer lasts forever. <laughs> <coughs> Alicia says, where do you get timers like that? So Amazon is generally where I buy mine. There is a link. My affiliate link for Amazon is in the description. Um, Amazon.ca has them too. Uh, Education Station, Lakeshore Learning, Anywhere that you would buy um, educational supplies generally has them. Tools for Kids in Alberta sells them. I really like them too. They're a wonderful family-owned business. Um, Scholar's Choice in Ontario carries them. Um, 
if you Google time timer, a whole bunch of places will come up. And as I said, for some reason, they only sell the one hour version in Canada, which makes me really, really sad. I had to get my friend in San Francisco to order me this one and kind of mule it to me um, because I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> Everybody else is getting people to like send them makeup and stuff from the States. I'm like, can I please have a 20 minute time timer? Um, so if you're wondering about some other easy to use way, easy ways to use these, <laughs> Um, to get your kids to listen, go grab my script pack. It's a free audio pack that gives you 10 different scripts to help your kids get through 10 different misbehavior scenarios. And they all have a transcription too. So for those of you who are more inclined to read, you can use them that way. And you can grab those in the description too. Okay, that's it. That's my plug. I don't generally push a product I like parenting gadgets and all these like fancy behavior charts and all this crap I'm just not on with. But if you have to buy one thing that will make your parenting life easier, let it be a timer. This particular timer. <laughs> I think um, Teflon, is it Teflon? Some um, pot, pots and pans company has one that's similar to it. It has a super shrill like like think your grandmother's timer like egg timer when you were a child and it goes like Rrr! it's got like that super mechanical beep sound that's really really annoying um and it ticks which drives me crazy this thing is totally silent until it beeps which I love um and I also love because you can turn the beep all the way off if my kids if I'm like okay you know you need to go play outside for an hour and I know that if they get involved outside that I don't want to disturb them, that they'll just keep playing, then I'll just kind of sneakily set up for an hour and turn off the beep and like sit it in the window. And that way, unless they're actively looking at it and waiting to come inside, it just turns, it just sits there and doesn't beep and doesn't alert them to the fact that the thing that I told them they had to do for an hour is over. <laughs> so I will often get like two hours of playtime out of them because once they get involved in something, it this frees them up from constantly monitoring and asking me, can we come inside now? Can we come inside now? Can we come inside now? They know that if they ask me to come inside once the red is gone, I will let them come in. So it frees them up and they stop focusing on getting back inside but then they get engaged in something and they don't actually want to come in when the timer's done. So that's another way that I, sneaky little way that I like to use this thing. I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, eventually I should be cured of this. Um, I had to go and get x-rays last week actually. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully we're gonna figure out what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, so that's that. literally the only reason that I don't have the 120 and 5 minute ones is because, as I said, they're only available in the States on Amazon.com and I had to mule this one into the country. The next time I go to the States, you best believe that I'm going to have the full set. Um, but I do like this one. This one works really well as a 5 minute too. Like, that's 5 minutes on the 20 minute one and then that's five minutes on the one hour one. So it gives you like, this one's a bit more, not more concrete, but it shows five minutes with a little bit more accuracy. It does move faster clearly than this one does. Um, so I find, I find if I'm using, if I need them to understand that we only have five minutes for something that this one works better. Okay, <laughs> that's it. <coughs> I'm done. Um, Emily's laughing at me. Yeah, I know, I'm a nerd. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, Sarah. 
Thank you, Sarah. Sarah says my makeup looks nice, which is means a lot coming from her because she's a professional makeup artist. Um, I kind of look like I was like face painting or um, finger painting, but I'm trying to be a grown up with my makeup now. <laughs> trying. Um, but thank you. <laughs> hey, Kara. All right. Well, thank you everybody for being here with me. Um, have a great evening. That is my little like thing. You will be shocked. And if you've ever been in the posse when somebody's been talking about, you know, I tried a timer finally and oh my God, like this is what they're talking about. You will be shocked how effective this is. It seems asinine. It seems completely ridiculous, but you will come to love your timer as much as I do. I promise. <laughs> <coughs> okay. I'm going to stop barking at you. Have a great evening and I will see you next week for another Uncommon Sense Parenting class. Bye.